is up guys welcome back it's V here and I have some other Envision news uh, regarding Envision Studio if you remember one of my videos where I tried to kind of deconstruct what's good about Envision and how does it compare with let's say principal app for micro interaction and motion design and animations and all that jazz it wasn't as good it was a bit clunky it took too long to load it it just didn't stack up really well against what Principal would offer because Principal is so specialized in uh, animations, in kind of producing those micro interactions and that visual form. And Envision Studio is still an early stage, but what I liked about it and why I want to give you this update is that I've been in touch with one of the product managers in Envision, trying to go back and forth and see why there was that, those issues in my sketch files, these sketch imports, those gradient profiles, like all those you know things which actually messed it up and made it like really clunky and the experience for a designer not as great. And they provided me with one of the demos of like how every single uh, update actually improved the product. And you know, if we would compare one and another, it looks much, much better if you ask me. Because now, as you can see, this is a demo done by the product manager. It's pretty damn good because it still has that lag, a little bit of delay. I wonder why it's that. Maybe the processing power is what's needed to actually, you know, to make it happen and make it work. But as you can see, the, the actual motion transitions and everything else is really easy to set up. And, um, and it, it works for what it needs to be. But I guess this update is just to tell you that they keep on improving. And it's quite exciting that actually companies like that do that lean approach where they try to fail fast and develop their products based sort of an input from designers like myself or you living in the comments. Maybe in a couple of months we're gonna see even better updates and, and even better working prototypes coming out. So, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give a like, subscribe, share, uh, comment. What do you think about it? Where do you think Envision Studio is headed? How does it stack up with competition? Let us know and you know, perhaps you're gonna be that crucial part in shaping future UX and product design products. Thanks a lot guys.